Let's say the motion was, this house believes that Southeast Asian states should actively demilitarize their war on terror, and you are in opening opposition. This video will be an exercise on creating an effective POI to bring back your case when your closing is very, very strong. So let's say this. So far, the debate went as follows. Opening government argues that militarization has led to sustained collateral damage, that it is prone to abuse from government institutions, and that it fosters distrust from the citizens in these areas because of continued conflict. At opening opposition, your team rightfully points out that opening government doesn't necessarily demonstrate how their comparative is better. And you also say that demilitarization may be much worse as it abandons these communities to terrorist forces, which is of course a reasonable argument. Furthermore, you give some reasons for why the military can gain the trust of these communities, and you even add incentives of reputation, social networks, and other existing checks and balances to demonstrate that the military will do their job well to protect these communities. So then, a closing exchange emerges in which both teams seem to directly engage one another at a very high and more nuanced level than the opening half. Closing government runs reasons as to why the process of demilitarization can be done credibly by specifically allowing the entrance of international and humanitarian aid organizations. And they even hint at possible reconstruction and negotiation efforts with terrorists in the post-conflict so long as the government commits to demilitarizing. Then, closing opposition meets closing government at their challenge by explaining that a lot of the terrorist organizations have irredeemably ideologically moved away from state institutions, and so it is best to cut one's losses by maintaining a strong military force. And, and you're at opening opposition, right? And you start to quiver as well, as closing opposition even argues further to say that the military is a uniquely unifying force because it recruits members from local communities across different socioeconomic demographics on the basis of their allegiance to national security of the state, and, and thus they argue that this is a better mechanism by which local communities, international and foreign institutions will cooperate and invest to repair and rebuild these regions. Now, let's pause for a moment here. When faced with this prospect and situation, how would you specifically phrase your POI from opening opposition against the government whip? Remember, our goal is that we want to create a POI that meaningfully responds to the closing government material whilst also highlighting the unique relevance of OO material that outweighs the contributions of your closing. At this point, the mistake that teams often do is that they just phrase their POI as, but you still have yet to respond to our material on XYZ, and they insert the label of their argument. Not only does this look very desperate, but more importantly, it is sincerely non-comparative. So even if you are correct, the judge cannot easily use this POI as a means to weigh it against other teams. Because you're merely just repeating something that was already said. And you're just adding in the complaint that, oh, you didn't respond to this. Well, well so what if they didn't respond to it yet? It's not clear what the implication of this is for whether you should win or whether they should lose. Instead, consider this POI. Your impacts of international aid and post-reconstruction are contingent on creating a safe environment. This ignores our analysis that the military is a uniquely stabilizing force because continued security presence is a precondition for trust. Again, let's pause here. What have we done at this POI? A while ago, our argument was on the numerous incentives for the military to conduct its security measures well. But we only made this argument only to the extent of avoiding abuse 
and gaining the trust of these communities. But now, through this POI, we have highlighted that our argument also extends to the post-reconstruction process as well, because stability, compared to the argument of unity from closing opposition, is a precondition for this to be the case. So even if closing opposition, again, attempts to also co-opt the argument of cooperation from local communities through their mechanism of unity or the claim of unity, we provided that the standard of stability is more immediate, more approximate, and more important, thus, for the purposes of this debate. So yes, POIs can be very, very effective when they're employed very, very well, and they're employed within a particular framework and standard of engagement that you want to use for your team to win. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and good luck with constructing your POIs.